Hey Flannel Panel Channel, it's Ryan the Tales End and it's Thursday and the question unfortunately is one that I picked which is if you were a killer disease, what killer disease would you be? And I didn't want to like murder the name of this but I wanted to become mad cow disease, bovine spongiform, encephalopathy. <laughs> now the reason I want to be mad cow disease is because it's like nature encroaching on nature and uh, mad cow disease actually isn't like a virus or anything but it is like a protein got wrong like like and what mad cow disease is called uh, what you know what it is is actually like it's a protein gone wild eating your brain and uh, prions cause a whole bunch of things, like it causes um, this thing called, uh, what was it called? Creates, according to National Geographic, um, fatal, ful fatal folimial insomnia, which basically means you literally die because your brain is eating itself and you cannot sleep. Now that prion disorder is like, you know, family oriented, so you have to have like a precondition for it. But the other one is, um, the, the mad cow disease is one that you have to give to yourself and it's like a crime against nature attacking humans because how you get mad cow disease is you get other animals that have mad cow disease you grind it up you put it in their grain and you make them eat meat animals that are not meant to eat meat now i'm not saying that you shouldn't eat meat but i can't eat beef because i can't eat beef i'm allergic to it don't ask i will not explain i am just allergic to beef just deal with it. In any case, it's a crime against nature, and then we're eating animals that had a crime against nature, and then, you know, according to uh, The Simpsons, if you do that, you create zombies, or I eat your brain, or something. Now, I'm not endorsing zombies as well. That's The Simpsons. Yeah. But basically what happened is sometime in Europe when they started feeding those animals to the animals, um, 164 or 194 people in Britain suddenly got something like mad cow disease in them. And, and originally, they thought it was this thing called Kritzfeld Jakob disease, which is named after some Jewish guy. And uh, the classical Kritzfeld Jakob disease is like about the same thing, but it's not the same thing at all because the symptoms are different. See, in Kritzfeld Jakob, the same thing would happen. Your brain falls apart. But in mad cow disease, which is. Uh, what was it, bovine sponge or form, whatever, um, your brain gets holes in it. So your brain becomes Swiss cheese compared to your brain falls apart. It's much different. And by different, I mean exactly the same, except for one makes holes and the other one makes your brain fall apart. So they're basically the same. They do something different, but it's basically like weird proteins eating your brain. And one is one is a prion, the other is a prion, but one fold and one isn't. And one is water soluble and one isn't. And... Um, I'm not a doctor, so I can't explain. And if I could explain it, and I explain it first, like the doctor that discovered Jakob, Kruzsev Jakob, I would have a Nobel Prize, and I would able, I would able to speak English. I would be able to speak English. Yeah. J'ai parlé avec, avec, j'ai parlé français un peu. In any case, explaining disease, I have to say why I want to be a disease because I get in there. And you have to eat like, you have to do the, the the crime against nature to get that. So you have to feed beef beef, and then you have to eat beef, and then you have to eat beef from a cow that ate beef. That's why I want to be that. Because this is the case where two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah. But basically, it made everyone like scared, so you couldn't eat beef from Europe for a whole bunch of time, and then they, you couldn't eat beef from the United States for a bunch of time, and the Japanese wouldn't buy beef from us, and then we were pissed off, and then we were like, ha, we can't buy squid from you, and then, yeah. So moral of the story, don't eat beef that ate beef, and if you do eat beef that eat beef, make sure that the beef that you're putting to eat beef who ate beef um, is not shaking and falling down and weird stuff, and you probably should not sell food that is falling down and shaking and doing weird stuff to the general public to begin with. So that's Ryan, Tales End. For Thursday, for the Flannel Panel channel, I will talk to you all later. You are all lovely. Come back. Watch me sometime.